Hey there, everybody. Steve again. And I, uh, I've been, been corrected on my uh, molding thing for this brick, and I thought I'd do a real quick video just to show. I didn't realize, and I've only been using this software five years, but I guess this is something new. But you can actually make a stacked molding. So let's just, if we do our section back clip here on our window, and go down here to the sill, we can actually um, make a stacked molding. So like if I did this and made this three, like a brick, I don't know, made this eight, oops. And uh, rotated it like a brick, okay. Let's put it like right there. And try not to distort it. And um, even if you made like another, say, a, a little soldier brick right here, okay, and maybe have it just stick out a little. And um, just, I'm winging this, folks, so just stick with me. I'm not sure how this will all turn out, but let's just say that is our stacked molding. So maybe I want to, I don't know if that's necessary, but if you do that and you come down here to this little icon right here, it says add to library as stacked molding. Click yes. And I'm going to put this as um, stacked brick sill molding one. Okay. And then open this object, right click on it, and you'll see molding one and molding two. And you can assign different colors. So, so right here, I'm going to assign the um, brown brick. It'll find it here eventually for me. And let's see, uh, brown used brick, coarse brick. And <clears throat> on this one, I'm actually going to use the same um, let's see here actually I'm going to sign it something else I'm just going to sign it like uh, oh buttercup to be just to pick a color and click OK now when we go into plan view here and assign that same molding to the window. See what happens. Um, sill. Use exterior sill. Library. Stacked. And no apron. There you go. And now if you paint this with the same material. It looks pretty good. Just a, I just did that just so you could see the detail there. But and when you when you make the molding it's going to go into the library with just one material you have to right click on it open it and assign unique materials to each component of the molding then when you pull it in you can paint each component a unique color if you assign it all one color and pull it in and you paint it it's going to paint the entire molding with the one color so uh but you can right click it anytime, um, even if you screw it up and you pull it in, you can go back in the library, right click on it, assign different materials, pull it back in. And, uh, and the, the other thing is you can, since it's a molding, um, like here, this molding we did the other day, I can just do that. And you can replace these just from the library. It's pretty amazing actually. So when I made these the other day, I could have made each component an individual molding and then assign different colors if I wanted to do that. So that's a quick update on that. Uh, I hope that's clear and uh, stacked, save as a stacked molding. And I have to thank Eric, the solver. He's a genius, of course, with this software. And Glenn also commented. So thanks, guys. And I learned something new every day. And I appreciate your help.